Hey guys, it's your girl Afanita and guess what? I'm super, super, super excited today because I'm meeting Abigail for the very first time. So I saw her video on my timeline on Instagram and I was like, wow, who is this girl? And the feeling I felt when I met her, I was like, no, I have a role to play in her life. So I decided to put things together and make sure I get to meet her today. Come with me to see her. Oh, if I know they reach you, I know get stressed. Senorita, oh, you carry stress. Last December, fly you go Ibiza and me, I know mind, I got the feature. If I know they reach you, I know get stressed. Senorita, oh, you carry stress. The very first time I saw him was after the show. I'll say queen of the kids. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about her progress on the show. Were you monitoring? Okay, so personally, the very first time I saw her was after the show. Okay, I didn't know her before. I hadn't seen, and I was very surprised because I hadn't seen her anywhere on my timeline. But I saw her after the show. I saw her when TVP posted it. I was like, wow, who is this girl? Because the feeling I had when I watched her video was something else. And I just knew that I had a role to play in her life. So I. I commented that I wanted to meet her. Mm -hmm. I posted on my story, and I realized that people were engaging with the post with my comments. And I texted her Trina, but I didn't get I didn't get any response from him that instant. And then I had other people trying to text him. So when they reached out to him, that's when I also got a chance to reach out to him. And then they went up from there. We spoke. We found out that there were some one or twos that were supposed to happen that didn't happen, and. Everything just went up from there. But I'm personally really touched because I saw a comment that moved me. I saw a comment that said disability is not inability. And I didn't know that she had anything wrong with it. So I saw that comment and I was like, wow. If she's able to be this passionate about dance, even with her condition, then it means that she's a special one. And then definitely, we can't just let it slide. We must at least play a role in her life. Mm. So that's why I'm here with her. To make sure that she's able to know how special she is with dance. I see. Uh, we know that dance has become a thing now. And looking at you being a huge figure in the industry now, and then her coming up, um, is there a future for dance for young ones like her and yourself? Here? Most definitely. There's a very big future. Because my aim now is to push little children out there to let them know that dance doesn't end with us. Like they had a future actually. So. If there's any way we can help them, train them, make them better, and prepare them for the future, then I want to be that way. Hmm. Let me direct here. You said you're going to play a role in her life. Um, what exactly are we going to be seeing you know, from you, your camp, from everything? Okay. So with that, you know some things, you just don't know what the future holds. But when I saw the video, I just knew that there was something that has to do in her life. I prayed about it and I was like, I have to meet this girl on Wednesday. I didn't know how possible it was going to be. But God made it possible and I'm here. Anything I can do to make her feel special, to make her know that she, that dance talent she has is, is, is heavier than what she thinks, is what I'm going to do. I don't know how I can help, but I'm going to help. Okay, <laughs> definitely. Boss, have you come?